First, we need to remove the panel on the side. That's done with the plastic pry tool. Now we'll need to remove the panel with the air vents. That's held together by clips. All right, and that slides right out. Now we'll need to remove the two screws holding the side vent. Okay, now we're gonna remove the bezel around the screen by pulling on it. After remove the bezel, the trip reset button has a two pin plug. You disconnect the plug and the panel comes off. All right, now we're gonna remove the four bolts holding the radio down. All right, we're gonna pull on the radio and then I'm gonna change camera position. We'll show you how to plug in the unit. All right, now we're getting ready to remove the radio. The first thing you need to do is disconnect this white plug above the radio. Okay, now we'll lift up the radio unit and we're gonna disconnect the 10 pin power plug. That's on the bottom right. And the other harness. Okay, it doesn't matter which order you do this. All right, now the unit has a yellow RCA jack. That's your front camera input. We also provide a white wire. That's your power output. You can use this to power the camera. All right, for the unit, we we'll recommend you attach Velcro and slide the unit behind the radio.